Welcome to Race Face TV and this week's edition of Race Face Driver Updates. Let's start off with Race Face driver Sheldon Creed, who was at Pocono Raceway, or better known as the Tricky Triangle, for the general tire hashtag Anywhere is Possible 200. Sheldon's NDM Motorsports team unloaded the number 28 United Reynolds Ortega Construction Toyota and they were fast right out of the box qualifying second behind pole setter Noah Gregson. The showstopper ran in the top five for most of the race, leading three different times for a total of five laps and was leading with nine to go and had pulled out to a half a second advantage when, you guessed it, an incident brought out the yellow. On the restart with eight to go, he lost the lead to teammate Harrison Burton. Sheldon finished in second place his sixth top five finish in seven races. Sheldon heads to Michigan this weekend in second place, only 10 points out of the championship lead to his teammate, Zane Smith. Race face driver Anthony Alfredo was at Memphis International Raceway for race number six in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East on Saturday. When it was time for qualifying, all 18 cars eclipsed the track record from last year and Anthony ended up ninth, just two tenths off the pole. The race was divided into three 50 lap runs. The first 50 laps of the race, Anthony struggled with a loose race car and fell back just trying to hold on till the first break so that they could make some adjustments. Because of tire wear in the first 50 laps, the car was tight, so they took on new tires at the 100 lap break. The last 50 laps saw little movement for the number 40 Seco Building Systems Toyota. Still fighting a loose race car, Anthony came home with his third top 10 of the year, finishing in ninth place. Anthony is currently fourth in the points for the 2018 NASCAR K&N Championship run. Up next, the K&N Pro Series returns to New Jersey Motorsports Park on June 16th to take on the 12-turn road course known as Thunderbolt. Ryan Vargas was also at Memphis International Raceway where he qualified 16th in his number two Rev Racing Toyota. Throughout the race, Ryan was able to stay out of trouble using patience throughout the 150 lap event and was able to bring home his best finish of the year in seventh place. Ryan is currently fifth in points heading to New Jersey Motorsports Park where he will compete for the first time on a road course in a full bodied race car. Jesse Love was at Antioch Speedway Saturday in his number 38 Home Smiles 5150 Energy Drink wingless sprint car. Competing at a variety of different tracks is always a good experience. However, as Jesse learned last weekend, the rules are not always the same. The Antioch Speedway rules require that a car must have a starter. The Hunt Magneto series where Jesse usually runs does not require a starter. Bottom line, no starter, you start in the back. It's now game on for the young sprint car driver and what he likes to call hammer time. So he had to start 12th in the A main but brought home a podium finish in third place. Up next, BCRA Midgets at Watsonville's Ocean Speedway on June 8th and Petaluma Fairgrounds Speedway on June 9th. Race face driver Sam Mayer was at Myrtle Beach Speedway for the NASCAR All-American Series late model double hitter. In the first 40 lapper, the 14-year-old driver from Wisconsin started his number nine Menards Junior Motorsports late model in the ninth position with hopes of making a charge to the front. But his Chevrolet was extremely loose and he managed to hold on to a ninth place finish. The second 40 lap event would have seen the top nine finishers from race one inverted and Sam would have started on the pole. But the rain moved in shortly after the first race, forcing officials to cancel that race. Up next for Sam, Cars Tour, Saturday, June 9th at 8th Speedway. Race face next drivers Justin and Colby Sokol were at the second annual Sky High Nationals in Elcott, Colorado. On Saturday, Colby won the A main in the light 160 and also won modified world formula while setting a new all-time track record. 
On Sunday in the light 160, Colby finished first in the heat race and was leading the A main coming to the checkers when a mechanical failure sent him hard into the turn four wall. They were able to fix the car and restarted tail end of the field but still managed to bring home a fourth place finish. Now let's switch to Justice who on Saturday competed in three different cars. In heavy 160, he set a track record in qualifying, then finished second in the A main. In heavy world formula, he set an all-time track record in qualifying and brought home a third place finish in the A main. And last but not least, qualified third and finished third in modified world formula. The Red Army is heading to Texas for the Wild West USAC Quarter Midget Nationals at Texas Motor Speedway where you will also find the NASCAR Truck Series and the IndyCar Series. That should be a great weekend of racing. Well, that's it for this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. As you can see, all of the drivers are keeping busy, and this coming weekend is no different. As always, I encourage you to support local racing in your community, and we'll see you back here next week with the latest Race Face Driver Updates. We'll